Here's an updated demo of LeafLogger. This is a system that I wrote to visualize the data that comes out of LeafSpy Pro and make it a little bit easier to figure out how your car is performing, how well you're driving, how efficiently or how quickly, and um, be able to warehouse all of these giant CSV files that this program spits out to be able to uh, review them later. So there's a simple login page here. If you don't have an account already, you can just create one for yourself. You just have to provide email address, a name, and whether you want the distance in kilometers or miles, and the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. In this case, of course, I have an account. Go to my account. The first screen that you'll get to is, is, there we go. First screen you'll get to, it'll show your last logged trip. A trip is considered any time where you've logged some data with a 15 minute gap in between there. Um, this panel shows your state of charge, both in GIDs, which are units of charge, about 280 on a brand new 2015 or earlier LEAF, uh, and then percentage of charge, SOC, which is basically state of charge. Thermal is the temperatures of all the battery packs, as well as the external temperature, the ambient temperature. And then on Google Maps, it'll show your actual path. You'll see a different colored path, whether you're driving efficiently, it'll be more green, or if uh, you're driving less efficiently, it'll go from green to red. As you roll over the points on this map, it'll highlight the point in the table down below. Uh, the what else to tell you about this here? There's a couple of sort of hidden features of this, and one of them is this slider up above, which now I know as I see it, you can barely notice it. You can focus down on a specific part of your trip by dialing in these sliders, and you'll see the map will recenter itself and everything. A more interesting trip to show is this one here where I realize that my Leaf is never going to have enough range to be a practical car. Here I went a total of, it's loading right now, but I know I went a total of 70 miles or so. 102 minutes including charge time, 70 miles, and my car still barely made it. So coming from fully charged, now my car is only 235 gids or so fully charged. I haven't lost a bar yet, but I will any day. Down to 25, 26 gids. Quick charge over here, and then back down again to about 57 gids. And if I use the slider here, I can dial down to show me just the quick charge, for example. For some reason my computer is being very slow now. As you dial this down, the map view will change. Uh, this at one point was showing more detailed in these points on the map. It's not doing that anymore. Um, you can, just like in any Google map, you can zoom in to see more things. This little squiggly line here is where I got off the highway to quick charge for a while. It seems to have gotten a bit confused there. Um, this works pretty well. I've got about 190 users all over the world now using this thing. Japan, um, England, Norway, all over Canada and the U.S. Um, it's been a valuable tool for people. There always needs more features and things I plan on add to it as well as more analytic features, but this is as far as I've gotten for right now. Uh, if you want to contribute code, let me know, and it's open source. Uh, the last thing to show is the elevation chart here. So I take the elevation that was given to me by the GPS, which isn't terribly accurate, um, and also I compute the elevation, or basically look it up from a Google Maps API to find out what all the mm -hmm. elevation is at any latitude and longitude on the Earth. Still loading. Maybe too many points there. Let's try another trip here. There it goes. 
So the blue line is the elevation from GPS and the black line is the actual elevation reported from Google Maps. So they, they pretty much correlate, but there, there are differences in there. Um, please use LeafSpy Pro and LeafLogger. Let me know if you run into any bugs, problems, feature requests, etc. Thanks.